Hello everyone, and welcome to this introduction module to the eHoudini Academy Procedural Asset Production Masterclass. My name is Erwin Heims, and in this video I am going to explain to you how to get Houdini from the Side Effects software website, and how to install Houdini to your computer. After this, we will also have a look at how to install the Houdini engine, and how to deal with some of the licensing when you have an apprentice license instead of a commercial license to Houdini. So let's have a look. Over here we have the sideeffects.com main website at www.sideeffects.com and if we want to download a new version of Houdini then you first need to create yourself an account. This is very simple, you can log in using your Google credentials or if you create a specific SideFX account go ahead and click up here on the sign in or create account button. I am already signed in so in my case I just have my profile up here. From there go to get and then go to the download page. In the download page, we'll find several different versions of Houdini described, and depending on which version of Houdini you're going to be using, um, you will have different parts of Houdini available. Firstly, there's the free personal learning edition called Houdini Apprentice. And Houdini Apprentice is a free version of Houdini, which is mostly used for students who want to learn Houdini or people who haven't committed to buying a license to the program yet. However, it does come with some limitations, among which that you cannot create assets inside the Houdini Apprentice version that you can sell commercially, or you can also not use them inside the uh, Houdini engine, inside game engines like Unreal. So next up, we have the commercial licenses, and these are basically the full-priced versions of Houdini. They come in two different versions called Houdini Core and Houdini Effects. Houdini Core is the more standard version of Houdini, which includes um, everything you need to create your assets. However, the difference here is that it doesn't come with the same features as Houdini Effects. Houdini Effects also contains other parts such as pyro simulations, fluids, crowds, and other dynamic rigid body solvers, for example. Now these are used very much in the special effects industry. Now this course is very much game development focused, so you won't be needing this at all. Um, if you're going to use a Houdini core license for the course, feel free to do so. But for our purposes, we'll be using the Houdini Indie license. And the Houdini Indie license is basically similar to the core license, except it is cheaper. And well, it can only be used up until a certain amount of profit, after which uh, you need to get a commercial license. It also comes with the Houdini Engine Indie, which is very useful because it means we can run all our tools inside of the, say, Unreal Engine. Now, you can still use the assets that I provide with the course because those will be Houdini Indie assets. And those assets can be ran, even if you have an apprentice license, inside of Unreal using the Houdini engine. And that one comes with every installation of Houdini, but you do need to get the license before that. And I will explain how to do that in a moment. But if you're going to follow this course, then I suggest you get yourself a Houdini Indie license, as this will greatly help you as you can put the tools that you've created inside of Unreal. So from here, what we want to do is click on download and if we click on download, this will take us to the download page. And from there, we can then save our file to disk. Now, I already have this file downloaded. So let me pull up the um, folder here. And this is the Houdini installer. So let's go ahead and double click on this and get the installer running. Here we have the installer. And as you can see, I'm currently trying to install version 18.5, version 596. At this point, you probably have a newer version of Houdini available, maybe even a completely new version number. Um, you'll still be able to follow the course as Houdini tends to be very backwards compatible. So let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, uh, we basically have to agree to the licensing. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to click agree. Then here we have the different components that we can install of Houdini. What we need to install is the main application as well as the licensing server. So those need to be ticked. And I also would like to install the SideFX Labs tools, which is a separate set of tools that Houdini builds separately, basically an add-on pack of uh, assets. 
and these are very useful. However, because they do tend to change from time to time, I will only be using them very sparingly throughout this course. Regardless, they are very useful and they can be very useful for games or for um, doing photogrammetry. So go ahead and click on next once you have these tagged. Then over here, we can install the Houdini engine. So if you want to run Houdini assets inside of other game engines or other programs, then you need to install a Houdini engine install with it. The Houdini engine can also be recompiled for other game engines for say your own companies. And this is very useful because this allows you to create Houdini tools that are specifically designed for the artists that use your game engine. The Houdini engine is what facilitates that. In this case, what we want to do is install the Houdini engine for Unreal. At this point, I have Unreal 4.26. However, there will be future versions of Unreal and Houdini tends to update over time. Every single time you update to a new version of Unreal or a new version of Houdini, I suggest you go over this process again to make sure you have the latest version of the Houdini engine installed. And I'll explain in a minute how to do that. So let's click on next and continue. From here, we can decide where we want to install Houdini. This will be the default path for the program. Um, I'm fine with this, so I'm going to proceed. And then, well, we can decide where we want this to be in our start menu. Uh, from here, we can click install. I already have the program installed, so I'm not going to continue and do that. Instead, I'm going to continue to the point where the program is already installed. And now we want to install the Houdini engine for our Unreal Engine. Okay, so now that we've installed our package of Houdini, you will find it under the Side Effects Software tab, if you use the default install path. And then over there, you will find your version of Houdini. Go inside of this package and then navigate to the engine folder. From there, go to Unreal. And here you will find the different versions of the Unreal Engine that are currently available to you um, that we can install. What we want to do is go to the version that's probably the latest version that you can get, the one that matches your current install of Unreal, and select the folder inside called Houdini Engine. We want to copy this folder, and then we want to take this folder into our Unreal install folder. So here's the folder for Unreal. Currently I have uh, 4.26, and I want to install Houdini Engine version two in my case. So I'm going to go to the engine folder. From there, we go to the um, plugins folder and then scroll down to find runtime. So the Unreal Engine main folder, engine, plugins, runtime. And from here, what we want to do is right click and simply paste the Houdini engine folder into this folder. Now, in my case, the program is already installed. So it will try to overwrite the files. The thing is that, like I mentioned, if you want to update your Houdini engine, then I suggest you also replace your Houdini engine folder altogether. In the past, I found this is the most assured way to make sure that you actually have a successful install of the Houdini engine when you try to run it in Unreal. So let's find the Houdini engine folder if it's already installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and delete it. And then I will paste the new version of the Houdini engine into this folder uh, again. So now with this properly installed inside of our runtime folder, we are ready to start running our Houdini tools inside of Unreal as well. However, if you are using an apprentice license, there's one more thing that you have to do. Because with Houdini Indie and the commercial version, the licensing server will already be set up to allow you to run Houdini Indie assets, the ones that come with my masterclass. However, if you are using a non-commercial license, then this will be a problem as the non-commercial license does not allow you to actually run Houdini engine files. For this, you will have to get the Houdini engine in the license from the side effect site. Go to get and then click on buy. And here you will find the different versions of Houdini that you can actually buy. Houdini isn't all that expensive. The indie license itself is actually only a few hundred dollars. Um, but what we are looking for is the Houdini engine over here. 
and this will get us the ability to get a free version of the Houdini engine for Unreal. Just add that to your cart, and from here just follow the procedure to do the checkout and buy process, and this will add it to your available Houdini licenses. So how does Houdini deal with its licenses exactly? Houdini licenses are managed by its licensing administrator and they can be found with every version of Houdini. If you go to your um, start menu for Windows and you type in license, you will probably find the latest version of the Houdini license administrator there. If not, you should scroll down to your side effects um, folder. If you click on this, it will start the Houdini license administrator. I'm going to blank out some of the information here because I'd rather not display everything. But if you have activated a license over here from your um, buy menu, if you've bought yourself an indie license or if you have uh, bought yourself an Houdini engine for Unreal license for free, then it will end up in here. If it hasn't done so, then you need to follow the procedure to install the license properly. And I can't really go over that in this video, but the instructions are available on the side effects site and you can also get them through your licenses under your profile. Once you have your licenses installed, you will find them installed over here, and at that point you should be able to run the Houdini engine, even if you have a non-commercial apprentice license. So with that, we've pretty much concluded how to install Houdini, the Houdini engine, as well as how to deal with some of the licensing. Now at this point, we are ready to have a look at Houdini itself, so let's open it up. And in the next video, let's have a look at the interface. So I'll see you in the next video and have a good one.